Let's go! Hi everyone, I have a Sephora haul for you all. And I know I filmed a video about two weeks ago with my Chic Week uh, free bag, but I didn't show any of the actual items that I purchased, so I thought I would go ahead and do that. Uh, the first thing that I grabbed was uh, two of the YSL Touche Eclat, one in the number one radiant and one in the number three light peach. And I actually filmed a video on this which I'll probably put up before or after this and I'm wearing them both today. I have the number one on this side and the peach on this side but um, I have a little demo which I will upload. And then the other item that I picked up was the Clarisonic four piece sensitive brush head replacements. Uh, I've tried the blue ones before and I did not like those because they, I thought, broke me out a little bit. Um, these are a lot gentler and I like them better. And then the next thing I picked up was the Coors value set and the reason I picked this up or I was influenced by Irene of Missy Mania. I'm gonna link her video below if you want to see these products in detail but basically it comes with an illuminating powder, a blush in peach, a lip butter glaze and a primer. I wasn't too crazy about the primer. I've tried it before from a sample from Sephora, but I thought that the value of all these was pretty decent that I decided to pick that up. Uh, again, I will link Irene's video below. And then I picked up a backup of the Anastasia Lash Genius. Um, this works really well as a primer. It's actually supposed to make your mascara waterproof and I decided to pick this up during chic week as a backup just because I realized after watching Hoppa Girl 8's video where she raves about this I think she put this in her last haul and I just decided to give it a go for a week and I realized that it is a really great product for keeping the curl in your lashes I'm using it today I'm not sure if you can tell I used this as a primer and then I used my did my usual mascara routine it does a really good job of holding up my really short barely there eyelashes so pick I also that up that I would go ahead and show the items that I got as samples from Sephora I got this perfume thing I did not select it I don't think because I don't like perfume so I no, I wouldn't have picked it. Uh, it's just like a, two little stickers that you peel off, and I'll probably give those away. Um, and then I got the Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow, and it basically has like a primer and then I guess a little swatch of each color here. And then I got the Shis Shiseido Bio Performance Super Corrective Eye Cream. I actually heard good things about this one, so I'm definitely interested in using this. I to edit this video and I realized how short it was, so I decided to tack on a couple more items instead of do a whole separate video of hauls for each thing because I didn't get that many things from each of the places that I'm about to show. And then yesterday when I went to the mall, I finally did my Back to Mac and I said that I would let you all know at another time what I picked up for my Back to Mac. I'll link the video where I did my original Back to Mac and Mac haul down somewhere, but I picked up the color, the lipstick in the color Candy Yum Yum, and I will do a closer up for you. This is the item that I got for my Back to Mac. I know I said I was going to show you all what I eventually end up getting with my Back to Mac. I got this at Nordstrom. I first went to the freestanding Mac store, but they ran out of the shade Candy Yum Yum, and so I went to Nordstrom and they allowed me to back to Mac and get this it's item. right all over the bottom so you can't return it. Basically if you do a back to Mac at a freestanding like pro store then you can exchange for a lip glass, any kind of lip glass except for the limited edition like Viva Glam stuff or an eyeshadow or a lipstick and if you do it at a store they limited a lot more well at the freestanding Mac store they had run out of the candy yum yum and I was absolutely devastated because that was the one that I wanted to pick up but then I ran into Nordstrom and they had it and they only allowed lipsticks which was perfect because I wanted to swap out my six old Mac products for the candy yum yum and then the last two items that I picked up 
were the Eco Tools fan brush. They were buy one, get one half off. I have been looking for a fan brush for quite some time now, and I finally decided to pick this one up based on a video, like an April favorites video. I haven't had an Eco Tools brush before, but I really like the real techniques, and I like the ones that the HD Pro brushes that Walmart sells, and they're made by the same company, Paris Presents. So I thought I would get this brush. I haven't used it yet for like some sort of highlighting, some cheek highlight in there to go on, and it just feels like it could be a decent quality brush. Let's check out the receipt. And because I got it, buy one, get one half off, and then Ulta had a $3.50 off $10 coupon, I ended up getting this for about $7.50. So, very, very excited to use this little brush out, and uh, I think that's it for my haul. Oh, one other thing, I actually decided to apply the Coors blush and peach that I hauled earlier in between the f filming the first segment and this one, and I have it on today, and I think it's a really pretty flattering color. It's finely milled, so the quality of this blush I am quite happy with. It's a somewhat satiny finish, and um, yeah, hope you enjoyed my haul, and talk to you later. Bye!